All right, this is Matt Stone of 180 Degree Health. Quick recipe today, this is a cabbage salad. Very limited ingredients, very quick and easy to make, and it's a great nutritious addition to your meals. Um, I'm grilling up some tuna today uh, with some grilled asparagus, a little rice, and I'm gonna have this little salad going with it. And this is gonna be great. So you got cabbage here, I just go through and cut it pretty thinly. And uh, I talked about this in my ebook, but for some of you who did not find me via the ebook or have not read it, uh, a lot of people believe that raw cabbage is goitrogenic or anti-thyroid, and it's true. Early uh, 20th century studies done showed that if you consume nothing but cabbage, <laughs> uh, yeah, you might run into some problems and get yourself a goiter. Um, but there's actually nutrients in other foods that uh, totally work as an antidote. Uh, that's something that Robert McCarrison pointed out, and uh, he could cure uh, this goitrogenic property of cabbage, not by removing the cabbage, you can see that looks good, but by uh, actually feeding a little bit of carrot or some other food that had those uh, those properties. For the carrot, I'm actually going to grate it into the bowl. Well, I'll grate it right here and then throw it into the bowl. It's just like a regular cheese grater. Make a quick little shredded carrot. And I usually I usually put some red bell pepper in there. I didn't have any in house today, and was not about to run to the grocery store for a little bit of sliced red bell pepper. But that makes a great addition to the salad as well. I got some really spicy serrano chili pepper. Uh, very spicy. Cut it very thin. And that's probably going to light me on fire, but uh, I could use a little perk up. I could use a little perk up. <laughs> um, we got cilantro here. Um, you know, I don't do stem it or anything, just rough chop. That's plenty to give it a nice flavor. And in the for the uh, the dressing here, if you would want to call it a dressing, that might be a little bit of a stretch. Um, let's say flavoring and can you guys see that okay yeah I guess you can see that you're a little bit low but um, I have some fish sauce this is uh, some gnarly smelling stuff uh, but it's excellent Southeast Asian fish sauce you can use regular soy sauce uh, just or even just salt you know it's just got to be something salty but I put you know a good little dose on there um, you want something sour? I use this uh, rice vinegar. Uh, I like the one that comes in a green bottle that this brand makes. This one has a little sugar in it. Um, but I pour a little bit on there. It's kind of has a nice sweet and sour taste. You don't need to overdo it, but give it a good tablespoon or so. And uh, that's all I do with the salad. I toss it up really well, like this. And uh, man, it's got a nice crunch. It's got a real potent, sweet, sour, salty, um, spicy. You know, it's got all the flavors going for it. But uh, you know, this nice little handful makes a great little side salad that took all of four minutes. So uh, you know, definitely something that's practical and easy to make. And I encourage you to do it. Uh, last but but not least, I will mention that. I was putting sesame oil on this for a while until I decided to experiment with going really low in omega-6 because sesame oil has a lot of omega-6. I guess the, the fatty acid sesame that's in omega-6 um, that's in sesame oil can help that type of fatty acid to keep from getting converted to uh, the type of fatty acid that's very inflammatory, which is called arachidonic acid in the body. So, uh, you know, maybe it's okay to eat, but I'm doing my low omega-6 thing, so I'm cutting it out. But anyways, that's a whole separate tangent, but I'll throw that in because it's interesting. And that is my cabbage salad. So, thanks again, Matt Stone of 180 Degree Health, and I'll see you again soon.